Hello, my name is Tardi and we are going to solve problem 3.25 from study Kubuk. And here's the question, use nodal analysis along with MATLAB to determine the node voltages in figure 3.74. Okay, let's start. We are given that we have these four nodes here, V1, and then V2, V3, and V4. Okay, maybe let's assume the direction of the current in each branch. So this is for ampere current source. I just follow the arrow of this current source. And then I will assume this is going to the right. This also going to the right. This going to the right. And all the vertical brands, I just assume that it will go down. Actually, you can use any direction as you like, but uh, you have to be consistent throughout the problem solving. And this is our reference node, so the voltage here will be zero. And then now let's start from doing KCL at each node. Let's start by doing KCL at node V1. KCL at V1. Okay, KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. The current that goes in, there is only one current that goes in, which is 4 ampere. So we write 4 there. And then the other currents is going out. So this one, V1 minus V2 divided by 1. So you have V1 minus V2 divided by the resistance between them, which is 1. And then plus this current here, which is V1 minus V4 divided by 20. So I'll have V1 minus V4 divided by 20. Okay. Now I want to get rid of this denominator. So we multiply each side by 20, right? So on the left hand side, I will have 80. And then on the right hand side, I will have 20 V1 minus 20 V2. And this 20 and 20 will cancel each other, right? So I will have plus V1 minus V4. Okay, and so on the right hand side, I will have 21 V1. 21 V1 and then minus 20 V2. And then minus V4. Or I will write plus 0 V3. And then minus and all of that will equal to 80 and i think that we can do further from here let's save this as equation number one okay now let's do another kcl but this time at node 2 kcl at v2 so again the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out Okay, for V2, the only current that goes in is from this current here. So that will be V1 minus V2 divided by 1. And then this current that goes out. So I will have V2 minus 0, that is V2, divided by the resistance between them. So I will have 8 here. And then plus... So we'll have V2 minus V3, V2 minus V3, and then divided by the resistance between them, so I will have 10. Okay, that's good. I think that's all, and I think we can multiply both sides by 40. Yeah, 40 to cancel all the denominator. So I will have 40 V1 minus 40 V2. And 8 and 40 will cancel into 5. So I will have 5 V2. And then so I'll have plus. We will have 4 V2. Minus 4 V3. Okay. So I will have 40 V1. And then I will have minus 40. Minus 5. That will be minus 45. And then minus 4. So I will have minus 49 V2. And then V3 
we move it to here so i'll have plus 4v3 and i will have 0 v4 right 0 v4 and all of that will equal to 0 and let's save this as equation number Okay, we still have two brands to go, but I need space, so I will clean this up first. Let's play another same game, but this time for V3. So let's do KCL at V3. And KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. <laughs> right? And... The only current that goes in is this one. Oh, this also goes in. So I will have this one and this one that goes in. So let's work with this one first. That will be V2 minus V3 divided by 10. And then plus this one here, I will have V4 minus V3 divided by 10. And that will equal to this one here, V3 minus 0 divided by 20. So I'll have V3 minus 0 is V3 divided by 20. Okay, let's multiply both sides by 20 to get rid of all the denominator. So we will have 2V2 minus 2V3 and then plus 2V4 minus 2V3 and that will equal to V3. Okay. And we will have on the left hand side here. 2V2. Minus. Minus 2 minus 2. That will be minus 4. Minus 1. I will have minus 5V3. And then plus 2V4. And that will equal to 0. But I want to add 0 V1 here. So we consistently get four variables and this is our equation number three and now let's do the same game here but at v4 now let's do kcl at v4 kcl said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out <laughs> and then the only current that goes in is this one so we will have V1 minus V4 divided by 20. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then the other current goes out. So this one here, I will have V4 minus V3 divided by 10. And then plus V4 divided by 0. I mean, V4 minus 0 divided by 30. So, I will have V4 divided by 30. I think we can multiply both sides by 60, right? To get rid of all of them. So, we will have 3V1 and then minus 3V4. And on the right-hand side, I will have 6V4 minus 6V3. And then I will have plus... 2v4. Okay, so we will have 3v1 here, and I don't think I have v2, so I will have plus 0v2. Oh, sorry. 0v2. And then for v3, I will have plus, yeah, plus 6v3. And then, what else? Minus 3 and then minus 6. So I will have minus 9. Minus 2. So I will have minus 11. So I'll have minus 11 V4. And all of that will equal to 0. And let's save this as equation number 4. So, so far, we will have equation number 1. Equation number 2. And then equation number 3. And then equation number four. We have four equation with four variables. And now we can use MATLAB to solve that equations. Okay, let's do exactly that. Okay, now we have four equation with four variables. And as we 
requested by the problem we need to solve that using MATLAB so I write this in the matrix form which is this one and let's solve it using MATLAB so let's plug the left hand side matrix as this one so I'll have 21 minus 20 0 and minus 1 and then 40 minus 49 4 0 and then 0 2 minus 5 and then 2 okay and then I will have 3 0 6 and then minus 11 so we have entered all the rows and this is name as matrix A and the matrix B is the right hand side so we will have 80 and then 0 0 and then 0 good and to solve that I will have to use inverse A multiplied by B okay and we will have all the answer right so this is the answer and maybe let's copy that to PowerPoint. Okay. And so we will have the answer, that one, which is which. This 25 is V1. So we'll have V1 is equal this. V2 is equal that. V3 is equal that. And then V4 is equal that. And all the unit will be 4. So we'll have all the unit in fold and this is the final answer for this question. Okay, that's all. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.